Okay guys, here we go. Let's see how that upper limb looks. This is hopefully the last bit of tillering I have to do. I don't know. Let's see. How's this upper limb look now, guys? Alright, I am actually still think there's a bit of a weak spot in there, but I think I can live with it. Let's give it some stretch. You know what? It's, it's evening out as I get, bring it back further. So I'm going to give it a little stretch here. Actually, that's a pretty good curve. I don't hate that at all. It's still got a little bit of that weak spot like I was talking about. Because this is actually a little stiff, this part. But I have a feeling I can live with that, work around that. Not a problem. Now let's look at the bottom one. bottom one's got a really nice curve to it. But it's still definitely weaker than the top limb. So the only thing I have to do now is some even full limb reduction. I will probably do that 20 strokes with the scraper and then 50 strokes with the heaviest grit sandpaper I have in a sanding block. And that, I think, should put me right about in the right ballpark. But basically the curves are good. I will take one more look at this after I do that lower limb reduction and uh, we'll see what we see. The other thing is I may not do anything about this being stiff because I'm going to cut a little bit of a handle rest in here or excuse me an arrow rest and that will weaken the limb a little bit for me not so much because this part isn't bending this thick part here isn't bending but if it does take a little bend, I think it'll flush out this little bit of stiffness right in here, too. Um, so as far as the major tillering of this bow is done, it's done. What I still need to do, like I said, is full thickness, full length, slight reduction of the lower limb. I need to cut the arrow rest in and play with this, but I think for now I'm going to leave it alone because I'm going to show you how to cut the arrow rest in again. I already have some videos on that, but I'm going to do it for you guys anyway. And um, also I need to clean up my knocks and do the finishing work. But before I do that, uh, let me just show you the knock um, that I'm using. This is a temporary knock, guys. Okay, um, I just took the rat tail file and did some perpendicular round holes straight in with a little bit of an angle. I don't know if you can see that there. There's the slightest angle. Now I'm going to clean those up and make them real knocks and I'll show you what I do. But just for the tillering part, this is good enough. And so that's where we are. The major tillering work is done. I'm going to do that final reduction and then I'll come back and see what it's pulling, what weight it's pulling at and we'll do more. Thanks for watching guys, that was the tillering of the takedown bow, sledgehammer handle bow, and I am Mike from Boyer Bows, and we'll get back to you at the next step. Take care guys.